All Things Automotive with Sydney City Lexus and Sydney City Toyota Managing Director John Rocker. This is your chance to ask about anything related automotively. All Things Automotive is what it's called, whether it's about finance, whether it's about the new car market, the used car market, which is going gangbusters at the moment. Plenty to talk about. It's a big topic. 131873 is the telephone number. Jump on, and as I always say on these subjects, make sure you get in nice and early because we tend to get to a stage where we run out of time and therefore we don't have the time to take your call. So get in nice and early. 131873. John Rocker, welcome to the program again. Thank you, Chris. Good to see you. Thank Good you. Good to have you in. Now, with interest rates as low as they are, Mm -hmm. financing a new car has never been easier or inexpensive. Major car brands have taken this to a whole new level to compete for your business by developing innovative finance products. And mm -hmm. one of the most innovative finance products, I think, is the Guaranteed Future Value Finance Plan. And if you can just explain to our listeners firstly, and I, no doubt they'll have questions related to the mm -hmm. Guaranteed Future Finance or Value Finance Plan um, for you to answer, 131873. But in basic terms, it's changed from the days of getting a personal loan on a car, yes. paying it off. This gives you a little bit more flexibility, right? Uh, flexibility and security, correct. So it's both things. So first of all, it's, a, it's one of the world's probably best kept secrets in my industry is guaranteed future value. Right. It's a finance product. And basically what it does is it allows a consumer to put aside some of the price of the car. So let me give you an example. Let's, let's use $100,000. That's the price of the car. Right. We're going to borrow $100,000. Then the finance company will say, we're going to set a residual for you, which is the future value of that car. We're going to set that aside. That's going to be $40,000. What's good about that conversation is the consumer then only has to pay 60% of the price of the car. Right. So in, you, in terms of your repayments, it ends correct. up being equivalent to 60%. And the 40 is what you end up paying at the end of the loan if you want to retain the car. Correct. So you don't you don't get a 40% discount. So let's be clear about that. You'd still owe that at the end of the term. Mm. But the finance company is saying, regardless of what that car is worth at the end of the term, we will pay you $40,000 for that car. Mm. So you've got security. So let me just give you a statistic. 90% of people who purchase a car finance it. Right. Only 20 to 25% use this product because it hasn't been there a long time for every manufacturer, but everybody's jumping on board. Right. So for you, for instance, yep. how long has Lexus had that product? So we call it Lexus Ownership Solutions, and we've had that now for about six and a half, seven years. So not long. Not long. Other manufacturers have had it longer, right. and others are just jumping on board now. Right. It's a it's a fantastic product for the consumer. One of the biggest problems we've got selling cars is not so much selling the new car; it's getting customers out of their old loans. Right. Because the car is valued at the time of the trade in. Yeah. You might owe the forty thousand dollars, but it might be worth thirty. Yeah. So you've got to basically hand over the keys to the car that you've been paying for four years. And a check for $10,000. Yeah. It doesn't feel good. No, it doesn't feel good at all. <laughs> so, for instance, if I was on one of these guaranteed future value finance plans mm -hmm. and the residual was $40,000, i had gone for four years paying 60% of the value of the $100,000 car. Mm -hmm. At the end of, say I wanted to upgrade, I wanted to go to something else, I would just hand the car back, would I? If at, it, because it's valued at that stage, whether whether it's true or not, Correct. at forty thousand dollars correct there are some parameters that are set at the beginning so if it's a four-year loan it must go the full term for them to guarantee right first of all okay and you do agree before you set off on the mileage that you think you're going to do per annum mm -hmm. so let's say for example you do the average driver in australia does twenty thousand kilometers per year yeah if you set that and you bring the car in after four years with less than eighty thousand kilometers right then yeah, that's guaranteed. Because that's why they're able to put a value on it so early. Yes. Because they know how many kilometres you're going to do. Correct. That's critical. Also, the condition of the car is critical as well. You can't, um, you know, if the car's hit by the mudgy mail, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then it's not going to be worth the residual. So you do need to take care of it. You do need to service the car regularly as well. Yeah, right. So there are some pitfalls, but pitfalls in the terms that you should be doing the right thing anyway. If you've been through the process, listeners, uh, a guaranteed future value finance, and you, you think it's the way to go, you like the fact that it's malleable, it's flexible, uh, you're guaranteed 
the value of the car to be able to hand back at the end of the four years or whatever you'd like to do, uh, maybe you can tell us your experiences. One three one eight seven three is the telephone number. We'll get to your calls right after this. Traffic. Miss something? Click on audio and stream or download at 2GB.com. Mass got earlier truck breakdown for the M5 East in the Cook River Tunnel westbound with lanes still recovering, queuing back to General Holmes Drive. Bright Sands close by the Grand Parade. Busy lanes approaching Bay Street. Also Bexley slowing on Forest Road at Harrow Road. And from roads, it's bumper to bumper on Concord Road. Barely moving lanes over for the wide bridge northbound the top ride. I'm Jason Bowman on Sydney's traffic leader 2GB873. Okay, you're probably thinking, why would the founder of a successful media and marketing agency cast himself in a radio ad? Well, I'll tell you. It's because to me and my partners at Sweeney Advertising, it's personal. That's what our clients love about us. We're small enough to give you access to our senior media planners and big enough to command media discounts and deliver effective, measurable results. If you take the success of your business personally, head to sweeneyadvertising.com.au and let's talk. Well, Sydney Solstice is about to light up our beautiful city. This two-week festival celebrates winter like no other, with more than 200 events across 150 venues, incorporating hundreds of artists, chefs and performers. From June 8 to 20, get out of hibernation and get involved in events right across parts of Sydney, including the CBD, Darling Harbour, Oxford Street, Newtown and surrounding areas. Enjoy a kayak by moonlight through the harbour. Watch the Sydney Opera House sales light up with powerful First Nation stories. Be part of amazing, winter-inspired, immersive dining experiences from our city's best chefs. Watch Darling Harbour transform into a winter wonderland with ice skating and chilled out beats, so much more. Take a look at all the events and attractions on offer at sydneysolstice.com. Lano, what do Bosch kitchen and laundry appliances have in common at Bin Lee right now? Mum, you mean our Bosch ovens, cooktops, range hoods, dishwashers, washers and dryers? Yes. Well, Bosch's famous engineering and reliability, of course. Yes, but I said right now, if you were listening. Well, tell me, Mum. Special deal at Bosch sale. Save up to $500. Don't miss our special deals on Bosch kitchen and laundry appliances if you're listening. <laughs> Right now, I've been leaving. Australian family owned for over 60 years. Light and Easy partners with home care package providers so older Australians can have affordable access to healthy, delicious meals in their own home. In fact, home care package recipients could even save 70% off the cost of their meals. Light and Easy even offers a new range of meals designed specifically for older Australians. If you or someone you care for could benefit from Light and Easy's award-winning healthy meal delivery service, call us on 13 15 12. Searching for a home with a big backyard, a city view, or a short walk to the beach? The Domain app is packed with features to make your next move easy. Download the app or visit domain.com.au. Domain. Australia's home of property. Fantastic food, fun for the kids, and over 500 stalls filled with bargains. You'll find it all at Fairfield City Markets. Saturdays 9 till 4, Smithfield Road, Prairie Wood, with free entry and plenty of parking. Family fun and friendly, that's Fairfield City Markets. Out the door sale is on now at Doors Plus. Save up to 50% off across the range. Plus, we can fit, paint, stain, and deliver. Visit a showroom for a free measure and quote. Up to 50% off, but for two weeks only, Doors. Plus, no fuss. The Chris Smith Show on 2GB. Fridge broken down, urgently need a new washing machine, order a new fridge or washing machine by 10pm and Bing Lee will deliver to you the next day. Conditions apply. Okay, all things automotive. We'll go to your calls right now. But just before I do, I want to give a plug to a young bloke who's just taken over his dad's business at Rosebury uh, in the inner south. Um, And the business is called East Coast Body Works. He's done a few little jobs for me of late. And he is a magician. Great body works shop he has, Joe, and he's just taken over. So, Joe, all the very best. And I implore all our listeners, if you've got a few things you want to get fixed on your car, a few little repairs that have bothered you, get it done at Joe's at uh, East Coast Body Works. Yeah, Fantastic. good luck, Joe. He, and he's just started. You know, he's got the, yeah, the big... Succession story, a good succession story. Yeah, Love them. It's good. Yeah, so good luck to him. All right. Guaranteed future value finance. Andrew's got a different view about all of this. Go ahead, Andrew. Yeah, um, back in 2007, I fell in love with my first Audi. Uh And I went in there and uh, ran my own business. And I said, look, I do high kilometres. I'd like to change my car regularly because I get bored because I live in it, essentially driving around six, seven hours a day. Mm -hmm. So they came up with this sort of red carpet plan where you're essentially renting the car. 
It's fully maintained in the sense that it's uh, serviced regularly. The only thing you pay for is petrol and, and brakes and tyres. Yes. But effectively, everything else is covered. But everything is covered. And it's great. Every two years, I just drive it in. I go pick another car and I drive away. And it's just a rental agreement. That's it. That's yeah. it. And look, horses for horses. Cars. Yeah. Great. And look, that's the right product because high mileage, that's the, that's the ideal product for you. High mileage is not good for guaranteed future value. Correct. Good on you, Andrew. Thank you very much. So there, this is, for a lot of people, they would not be aware that this is actually a finance product available to them if they were to go and buy a car. And because mm. it's different, they should try and understand what it's about. But if you're, you're only travelling 20,000 k's a year and you're not travelling to Mudgee every second weekend... Yep. You can get through on a loan like this a lot more inexpensively, therefore get access to some of the upper models that you wouldn't have ever thought you'd drive. Yes. And the other thing is if you do low mileage, say you do 10,000 kilometres a year, you're actually rewarded. Your residual will be bloom will be higher, so your guaranteed value will be higher. Right. Because you do less mileage. So if you and I bought the same car, Chris, and I do 20,000 kilometres per year yeah. and you do 10, your repayments will be lower. Right. Okay, I've got a text message here for you, and it's uh, from Avi in Blacktown. He says, quick question regarding hybrid batteries. The, Hi, Lex Avi. the Lexus RX 450H, when would I be looking to change the batteries, and how much is the estimate of that cost? He's obviously got an RX 450H. Mm. When, do they, when do you change batteries? It's a little bit of how long is a piece of string. We've got uh, Uber drivers, we've got taxis uh, driving these vehicles and obviously Lexus owners, but um, I've seen vehicles with 450,000 kilometres on them. Right. Um, on the current battery, on the first battery. 450 kilometres. Yeah. Wow. And, and, and multiple owners of the same car as well. Uh -huh. So not expensive. They used to be about $12,000. You can change a battery for seven. Right. Okay. As time goes on, that will become less and less expensive over time. It has to be for people to go in that direction, doesn't it? Definitely. Hybrid, for me, is if I was buying a car, that's what I would buy. What about electric cars? You know that as a car dealer, you're going to have pressure to sell more and more electric cars. Are we set up in this country for electric vehicles? No, we're not, Chris. The um, And I think it's a great product and a great idea, great invention too early. We're just not ready for it. The infrastructure needs to be there. We did an exercise... Um, a couple of weeks ago where we plugged in a car to a normal PowerPoint electric car uh, on a trial. It was set, it sat there for 18 hours and the battery charged from zero to 18.5%. In 18 hours? In 18 hours. So you can buy an electric car with the charger that you've got to pay two, three thousand dollars for that is a fast charger for your garage. Yeah. But people don't think about that. The infrastructure isn't just the car. You've got to buy the charge for your garage. Your garage or your house may not be wired for it. We've got a long way to go. A long way for, for electric, but a, a great idea, but it's a little bit early. All right. John Rocker, happy to take your calls from Reevesby. Dominic, good morning. Hey, Dominic. guys. Um, hey, John, Chris. Yeah. Gotcha, Hello. Dominic. Go All ahead. right. Um, hey, guys, just good, good. Uh, just asking about the Lexus NX and when there's a new model coming out. Lexus X model, right. Oh, NX, very exciting. So I'll tell you a secret. On the 9th of June, Lexus dealers are getting together in a secret location to talk about the new <laughs> NX. Um, I'm told it'll be very exciting in terms of the range. The vehicle will be launched in November this year, and you'll have more variety within that bracket and that range of model than you've ever had before. We're very excited. All right. Very good. Good to hear. I'll yeah. wait off then. You're a Lexus man, are you, Dominic? Oh, I'm looking for a family car and, and like the size of the NX and uh, and like the hybrid option as well. It's a number one seller. 46% of Lexus uh, volume is the NX product. So come in and have a look. All right, Kevin in Hurstville. Go ahead, Kevin. Uh, g'day, Chris. Go the bunnies and g'day, John. Hey, Kevin. Um, look, I actually bought a Lexus from you in 2016. It's an IS350 export. Nice. Uh, it's only got 38,000 Ks, not a mark on it, never been an accident or anything. And I do have it insured with Lexus Insurance, Great. and that renewal will be coming up pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Obviously, used cars have gone up in price, and just wondering what you think it might be worth, given you know the quality of the car that, that it is. Yeah, it's a difficult one. I try and sort of steer away from these, only because it's there are so many different um, examples of the same car. I'd, I'd rather not say. But what I can tell you is if you leave your number at reception, I can actually have the car valued for you and tell you what I would pay you for it, not just an opinion. Let's do that. Kevin, stay right there. We'll give you to Janie and we'll try and work that out. I've only got 10 seconds, but who offers guaranteed future value products? Car manufacturers, 
only. Right. It's in their best interest to do it because they want you to buy another car. So they reward you by guaranteeing the future value of that car. Okay, great Banks stuff. will not do this. Okay. Good on you, John. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Thanks, Chris. John Rocker from Toyota and Lexus, and he'll be in in two weeks' time to talk more.